Well, what a moment for Kieran McDonald. 24 years of age is the man from Sunderland. Preparing for his World Championship debut. Oh, what a debut he has in prospect because he is facing off against the formidable Eubergen Martinez from Colombia, fresh of his appearance, fresh off his appearance in Tokyo at the Olympic Games earlier this summer. Remember, in Rio, five years ago, he boxed his way through to silver where he lost to Hassan Boydouz Matov, the eventual Val Barker Trophy winner. But it was a fantastic run through to the final. And this man is quality. He possesses an engine that has to be witnessed in order to be believed. He won't hold any fears for Kieran McDonald. Lee Pullen, the coach on the outside of the ring, behind the face covering, just with final moments of instruction and inspiration for Kieran McDonald ahead of his World Championship debut. Yasutaka Sasaki of Japan sends the boxers back to their respective corners after issuing the final instructions. And we are underway. Action in the 51 kilogram flyweight division between boxers from England and Colombia. And a good right hand and to the body of the straight variety followed by a left jab upstairs landed by the more compact figure. That is Eubergen Martinez. Outstanding Colombian boxer competing on the global stage once again. Remember, he was a bronze medalist. We're again in 2017 in Hamburg at the World Championships, and it was Hassan Boydouz Matov who accounted for him at the semi-final stage of that global tournament. One bout earlier than the gold medal bout they contested in Rio the year before. So Kieran McDonald operating out of the south paw stance up on his toes. Wonderful mover around the boxing ring, but closing the distance as the two boxers exchange shots to the body. Lead left hand out of the southpaw stance was a scoring shot from McDonald. Trying to draw in the more compact figure of Martinez. But Martinez, despite being only 51 kilograms, it's as though his engine takes a while to warm up. Often has a look in the first round. And then in rounds two and three, he just continues to up the punch output and it often leaves the opponent in the other corner wanting. Will McDonald be able to deal with the incessant pressure that he likes to bring to bear? And of course, as all of the boxers here, McDonald, as all of the boxers here are, here are as shot six straight hook shots up, upstairs were successful from Martinez. But all of the boxers received such fantastic information and instruction from their coaches. And they will all have invariably a database on their opponents. They'll have informed McDonald about the tendencies that Martinez favors during his performances. Because, of course, he's been far more visible on the global stage. Might be a bit more of a difficult mission. Oh, that's a beautiful corkscrew right hand off the back foot. It came behind a southpaw left, but McDonald acquitting himself very well indeed in with this accomplished man from Colombia, showing that he's not overawed as he turns a right uppercut underneath once again. Is he turning orthodox for a moment? Trying to move himself out of Martinez's corner. Man he did manage to escape. Operating as a southpaw once again as Martinez pursuing his man. Looping right hand was landed with the inside of the glove from Martinez, but it landed on something. Martinez looking to get to work to the body. A very good round of boxing, my goodness. If you didn't know the reputations and accomplishments of both of them, and I said that one of them was an Olympic medalist and world silver medalist, you might not know to whom I was referring. That's how well this man boxed in the opening round. Martinez 
has seen so much. And look at that, McDonald taking it on a 3-2 split. A fair reflection of what was a very competitive round. Some beautiful corkscrew shots unfurled by the man wearing red. But Martinez started the round effectively with straight punches, particularly to the body, but showing variety by going upstairs as well. So both men would have had a good look at one another over the course of that first three-minute frame. But McDonald comes in here with fantastic confidence, having claimed multi-nations gold at the tournament in Lithuania earlier this year. Schedule, of course, that's so for so many athletes, so many boxers, so many people all around the world, disrupted heavily by the COVID-19 pandemic. Just being spoken to by the referee from Japan about engaging. McDonald will tell you that he's not running, but he's trying to give his man angles and box off the back foot. But the referee speaking to McDonald, saying that he must engage this, the world championship stage. Good work with the shots underneath from Martinez, who is looking to close the distance once again. Check right hand attempted from McDonald wasn't too far away. So Martinez looking to maintain pressure on that front foot, pecking and poking with both the lead and the backhand is McDonald. When Martinez got into punching range, he's tied up by the man in red. Counter left hand was attempted, or lead left hand, as Martinez was coming in. Right uppercut uncoiled by McDonald, but it was off the mark. So to those shots, they were blocked by the gloves and forearms of Martinez, who is looking to quicken his feet here now and walk his man down. And this is where McDonald... If he is going backwards all the time, He's got to do something really eye-catching because the impression right now is that it's Martinez who is looking to make the contest. And it's beautiful, the boxing on the back foot, when the punches land, but when they're not landing, that's when it can be construed as perhaps being negative if you are a back, feet, back foot boxer. So occasionally, just as McDonald did there, plant your feet in the canvas. Good bolo shot landed with the backhand from McDonald. Martinez countered with a shot upstairs. McDonald up on his toes once again, looking to keep that movement going. Oh, two shots over was rather languid and it was countered immediately after it fell short by good work to the body from Martinez. He's continuing to press. McDonald breathing through an open mouth now. And this is a result of the pressure that Martinez invariably applies on his opponents. He drives a hard right hand to the body and then brings a shot upstairs, showing terrific variety from both hands, targeting torso and the head. And McDonald now... Looking to increase the distance between himself and his opponent. Goes for a corkscrew left uppercut, which was an eye-catching shot. But the volume now coming from Martinez, who is really setting about his man. And McDonald is finding this increasingly difficult deep into this second round. There is caught by a flashing right hand as he looks to back up. And then a left hand came through from Martinez. So it's been a terrific conclusion to the round for him as McDonald penetrates the defences with straight shots, but then he's caught by a left hand as he tried to disengage. Very good round of boxing from Martinez in the second, where he enjoyed more success the deeper we got into that second three-minute round. Let's listen in to the instruction in the corners. We take a look at the scores, and it's swept across the board unanimously by Martinez, who enjoyed more success the further the round went on. But because of the 3-2 split McDonald earned in the first round, this contest is still up for grabs. It is all square for judges one, two, and three, but the momentum, make no mistake, is with the 2016 Olympic silver medalist, the 2017 World Championship bronze medalist, Eubergen Martinez of Colombia, whose incessant pressure is really testing the conditioning of Kieran McDonald. So into the third and final round then, the man in blue from Colombia will be looking to maintain the momentum that he established in the second round against the man who has taken multiple domestic national titles of both the, both the English and the British variety, Kieran McDonald. 
English national champion in 2016, English and British youth champion in 2015. He's got World Series boxing experience under his belt as well in 2017 and 2018. But with regard to all those credentials, Jabergian Martinez will be 30 next month, can say touche and indeed raise him as he goes downstairs with a hurtful salvo to the body that reduces the height of Kieran McDonald by several inches. He's back up on his toes now, scores with a good right jab that jolts the head back of Martinez, but Martinez still looking as fresh as a proverbial daisy as he continues to press. You saw McDonald visibly bite down on his gum shield, but he's caught by a corkscrew left uppercut as he held his feet momentarily while looking to change direction. Good left hand landed by Martinez, and this has very much been a baptism of fire on the global stage of world championship competition for Kieran McDonald because no seedings in attendance, remember, because of the newly expanded weight classes. So you wouldn't expect, if there were seedings in attendance, you'd expect Martinez to receive a bye and not appear until the second preliminary round. But here he is in the round of 32, going about his craft with his usual maniacal intent, high boxing IQ, incessant pressure, wonderful variety. All of these qualities in evidence, and there's a left-right combination from Martinez, causing McDonald to swing and miss, who is showing terrific competitive spirit, but look at the frequency with which his chin is being touched up by both lefts and rights from Martinez. Martinez not giving McDonald any respite. McDonald showing terrific determination and commitment to the cause here. Minute to, minute to go in this third and final round. But Martinez is showing the golfing experience that exists between these two boxers at this stage of their careers. Remember, so many international, continental, and indeed global medal successes under the belt of Martinez. And this is the type of experience that will be a valuable lesson for Kieran McDonald because it gives him an idea as to the level, the levels that exist in Aiba style boxing. He'll have a good idea, of course, because he's part of the GB program and he'll have been operating with the top boys that have graced the GB vest over the years at the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield. But sparring's one thing, competition another, and that a terrific performance by Eubergian Martinez. Remember, McDonald took the first on a 3-2 split, de demonstrating some wonderful variety, outstanding movement. But then, once we got into the second round, Martinez began to assert his authority, and he maintained that momentum through the third and final round. But a very good learning experience for Kieran McDonald. And we just await the verdict, which should send Jabergen Martinez through to the second preliminary round in the 51 kilogram flyweight division. But what an, what an achievement for Kieran McDonald to have shared the ring with an operator of this caliber. And he hasn't disgraced himself in any way, shape or form, acquitted himself very well indeed, took the opening round on a 3-2 split, but let's get the official verdict that should send Martinez through. And there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Eubergen Martinez of Colombia. Taking it for all five scoring judges. The judge from Sweden giving the final round by a 10-8 margin in favor of the man in blue. He acknowledging all sides of the arena here in Belgrade. Kieran McDonald acquitting himself very well indeed on his world championship debut facing off against one of the very best operators in the business in and around these weight classes. A 2016 Olympic silver medalist knew he was in a contest in the first round. He was edged on a 3-2 split. But then, as we suggested he would, throughout the second and third round, he was able to maintain and indeed increase his work rate, his punch output, and he eventually prevails on a unanimous point decision verdict.